Hey guys, Braden Maher here. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can survive a weekend getaway and still enjoy yourself, not feel so restrictive, still lose body fat, and also enjoy the experience, enjoy your social life. Now we're gonna be traveling to Humble, Texas. It's Friday the 11th, I believe. It's at late afternoon. We're gonna be traveling down there for a weekend. I'm with my wife and my mother-in-law. We're just doing a little weekend getaway. We're gonna stop at a restaurant tonight. I've already got it all planned out. Other than that, I'll be consuming my regular meals in the Airbnb. And I'm gonna show you how I can still enjoy the weekend without feeling so restrictive. And again, without having to just give up your social life, because I know some people who give up their social life for the sake of sticking to a diet. And that's not, that's not, what, that's not how it should be at all. We're gonna be taking our little new weenie too. Miss Colonel, yeah. Miss Colonel, she's gonna go with us. Uh-huh, yeah, you're so cute, baby. You ready to go pee pee and poo poo before we leave? I'm packing a little lunchbox for some meals for the weekend. This is only a two night trip, so brought some ground beef in here. We've got some of my wife's homemade bread. Got some fruit, blueberries, some yogurt, some butter. Um, Mother-in-law is bringing some venison, so we're gonna have that on Saturday night with some mashed sweet potato and some vegetables. Also got some fruit. I'm gonna stop and get some more bananas because I'm running low and this needs to be eaten today. Also got some farm fresh eggs and we're also gonna have some fruit for breakfast on, I believe it is Sunday morning. And can't forget the food scale either because we're staying on track and we are in a sprint losing body fat, so gotta stay on point. Back, but part of our deal was we have to Can't go wrong with this option. All right, so we finally made it in Marble Falls. It's really late, it's about 11.45, I'm exhausted. I got a medium rare sirloin at Texas Roadhouse, it never fails. It's what we were most familiar with, so we chose that. We know it's something that we can be really consistent with, and I typically get the same thing, which is a 16 ounce sirloin medium rare with some vegetables, really easy to track. I mean, you just simply put into my fitness pal, 16 ounce sirloin from Texas Roadhouse, Plug it in, boom, really easy estimate. Also had a couple rolls as well, which is again, really easy to track. So gonna get some rest. It's been a really long day. I've been going at it since five o'clock. So see you in the morning. All right, good morning. So slept like a rock last night. I was exhausted. I, I'm pretty cranky after nine o'clock if, if I'm not in bed. So I think we're down at about 11, got up at five. Um, dogs woke me up. They, just would not go back to sleep and I was wide awake. So what we're gonna do today is go and do a devotional at a coffee shop. And then from there, I'm skipping breakfast. I only intermittent fast for cognitive function. There's really nothing magical about it. So if you do it and you like it, just know that there's nothing magic to it. There is some evidence that suggests that there's some cognitive benefits to it. But other than that, it's simply just a byproduct of controlling your calories from what I've seen in the literature. But what we'll be doing is going and getting brunch around noon. But before then, wifey and I are going to go on a trail around here. Marble Falls is a great area for hiking, supposedly. So we're going to check that out, get one of our 45-minute workouts done, go and get some brunch, probably get another workout in after that. And then for tonight, we're going to have, we're going to have some steaks. Need to stop by an HEB or something, whatever they got out here, because I'm really craving a ribeye. No, that's but thank you for... Mm -hmm. It's beautiful out here. I love the hill country. Here we are, getting our cardio done. Walking the puppers. Get puppers. Yeah. All right, so we found a leash free zone. I'm ready. This German Shepherd's really fast. I'm not even gonna bother. Oh, he didn't even wanna make it up this way. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh! Alright, change of plans. Because I got hungry and our destination is like an hour away. And I'm also with two women that are really slow. So, whipping up six eggs. These are farm fresh, supposedly. They're really yellow ones from Farmersville. And this is a farm fresh egg that the host left for us. So you can see the difference in the yolk there. But yeah, keeping it really simple. When we go to the restaurant, I'll probably get a sandwich or maybe some like sourdough and a couple more eggs, something like that. But if I'm not eating out, I'm eating the same stuff. It's literally that simple. I have a kitchen, so there's no reason to just go buy a bunch of Oreos and junk food. There's just no reason for that. And I think sometimes we get in this mindset that, oh, I'm on, I'm on a trip and I'm on, I'm on a vacation. I'm just going to eat junk food and 
I'm not saying you can't do those things, but I think that we oftentimes associate junk food with travel, with vacation, and that's not how it should be. Change of plans again. So instead of going out for lunch, we're simply just gonna have some burgers here, and then we'll get some for dinner tonight. right <laughs> that's right <laughs> jesus is king i don't see how people go on getaways and don't get out and experience god's green earth like how do you go on vacation just to sit and eat i don't understand to eat and drink actually we did that on our honeymoon we went to key west we did a little bit of activity but for the most part i mean there was a hurricane so it's justified all we all we could do was eat and drink and by day two we said this ain't it so Anytime we do a little getaway, there's gotta be hiking involved. There's gotta be activity involved. And yes, good food too, but when you're this daggum active, you could probably justify a free meal. Not that we're doing that on this trip. Uh, we're both in a little deficit now. So I'm actually taking a diet break. So I'm eating a little bit more, but it's more of just the same stuff. I don't crave a pizza, a burger. Actually, we had a burger today, obviously, but I mean like an off plan quote unquote burger from like in and out or something, but yeah, I'm not, we're, we're not very food focused people anymore. We've both come a long way. Back at the home base, it is Monday morning. Very happy with the trip. Absolutely love Marble Falls. We will be back. Now, that just goes to show that you don't have to come off plan per se when you're traveling just because you go somewhere. I used to have the mindset like, oh, I'm, a va I'm on vacation now. I'm also on vacation for my dietary patterns. And it doesn't have to be that way. You see the food I ordered and the food I cooked, it was the regular stuff. I mean, I had chicken, vegetables, steak, vegetables for breakfast. That's very similar to the breakfast I have. I simply just asked them, hey, can I get six eggs, some toast, and some oats? It's really simple. And if you also want to save some calories, if you are like in a fat loss phase, ask them to cook it with no butter, no oil. That'll save you a ton. So, for example, we ate out three toms, I think it was. Yeah, three toms. And let's just say that's an additional three or 400 calories times three. That's a lot of calories per se. It's just something to keep in mind there. Uh, but again, very happy with where I'm at in our journey right now. I'm not very food focused. I, I'm able to simply enjoy the experience and not worry so much about food. And again, I came back lighter, which is nice. So what I'm going to do, if you if you look in the description, I also have a weekend survival guide just to give you guys some more context on how to handle these events. I hope that this video was helpful just to show you hands on like how I personally handle it. Now it's going to look different for everybody, but at the end of the day, like you just simply have to be mindful. Now, if you are a man or woman of faith who aspires to lose body fat, keep it off eternally, not have to be so restrictive and you don't have to give up your social life, by all means, book in a call with me. We'll see where you're at currently, where you're trying to go and what we can do to potentially help you. Appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video. Stay healthy and God bless.